YouTube, it's Chris and Ty. What's up? <laughs> and we are back with another video. Today we are going to be addressing uh, a topic that we got from the Q&A, your input video. Um, and many of you wanted to know, how do we fight? How and do we fight? <laughs> how do we keep the peace, you know, in the relationship? And, right. You know, what happens when an issue comes up? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so that's what we're going to be talking about today. So we have some ways that we've been working on trying to keep the peace in our own home. We're not perfect at this. <laughs> no, okay? we're not. We do love each other deeply, yes. but we ain't perfect at this thing. We've come up with what we call the art of war. <laughs> okay, so the first thing we wrote down was keeping your emotions in check. Okay. That's right. That's right. <laughs> you, got, you got to keep them in check. Yes. We've learned that it is very important to watch what you say. That's right. <laughs> because once those words are out there, you cannot get them back. You cannot take them back. And most times, you got to provide some kind of explanation. Yes. As to why you said what you said, because in the midst of an argument, people always think there's a little bit of truth yes. to what you said. And I want to know why you feel that way. Oh my God. So we've also learned that it's important to confront your issues, right? Yes. You got to be proactive in confronting issues. You don't want to get to the whole, I can't stand when you do this. Once you hit no. that phase, it's a problem. Yes, it's all downhill from there. It's going to be it bigger not, than it should be. Yes, exactly. So if it's a small or big, get the courage up to confront your man. Or your woman <laughs> about what is on your mind. Okay, just make sure you're doing it in a respectful way. That's right. That's right. No need to be afraid. And speaking of that, um, something else that we have been working on is trying not to topic jump. You want to stick to what topic you brought up. I don't want to sit here and talk about him not picking up his socks, and then we end up talking about how he doesn't take the trash out as well. That's right. That's right. <laughs> don't be a topic jumper. We've learned that it's best. <laughs> That when we're discussing an issue, to stick on topic yes. and come to a resolution on that before we move on to something else. Maybe I got multiple problems. Okay? <laughs> maybe, maybe I don't pick up my socks. Maybe I don't take the trash out. We ain't got to talk about it at the same time. They're completely irrelevant. They're not related. Okay, they are kind of related. All right, so another important one is body language. Oh, yes. All right, so body language speaks volumes. So sometimes it's not even what you say. It's how you say it. So a combination of body language and your tone of voice can make all the difference in the world. Exactly. You know, so if I'm telling him that I'm not upset about something and I'm rolling my eyes anytime he asks me a question or he tries to, you know, get anywhere near me, that's a problem. Yeah. I'm, I'm giving off the wrong vibe. I'm not giving off the vibe that everything's cool. That everything's good. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, there's multiple ways to say, OK. All right. So if I'm talking to her, she got attitude. I'm like, babe, you I'm all right. It's good. It's good. We good. We're not good. No. I know that means we're not good. Right. And exactly. I got to figure out what I did. And figure out how to fix it. <laughs> right, exactly. And in his case, um, if I <laughs> if I'm asking him if he's okay, he gets more silent. He doesn't really say anything. He just gets quiet. <laughs> Instead of him actually telling me that there's a problem, he just won't say anything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So part of your body language, you gotta stay seated. <laughs> all right. If if you start an argument and you're sitting down, yes, it's like you're on an airplane and the fasten seatbelt light just came on. Do <laughs> not get <laughs> up. Stand up. <laughs> Because it will be a problem. It just takes things to another level almost instantly. And if you're going to get up, if you're going to get up, explain your movements. You better explain your movements. Don't just be getting up recklessly. Don't get up recklessly. It may go down. Okay, so another thing we've been trying to work on is knowing when to take a time out. We've learned that when we're getting to the point of we want to say certain things, we want to do certain things. We want to topic jump. Maybe we want to topic jump a little bit. Jump, we need to take a time out. Just as important as knowing when to take a time out. Partner, you got to respect the time out. If I say I need a few minutes. I can't be like, hold on, I'm not done yet. Yeah. And I'm trying to get my last word uh -uh, in. I ain't done yet. <laughs> uh -huh. do that. Yeah, no, that is verbatim what I've heard in the past. Uh, -uh no, 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 I'm not done yet. We're going to okay. talk about this. Okay, maybe a little bit. Yes, yeah, so you have to respect <laughs> when somebody wants to actually take a break from the argument. That's right. And you probably need the break too. I mean, come on. <laughs> so and, it's right and for the person calling a timeout here's you gotta understand a timeout's not indefinite okay <laughs> you can't take a permanent timeout i never want to talk about this again timeout no no so you gotta respectfully call the timeout take a few minutes few meaning uh, less than 10 get a breather <laughs> and then continue with the conversation see some, now sometimes he want to take a timeout and it'd be like an hour okay and I'm still boiling. I just want to get it over with. Yeah, I want to talk yeah. about it and get it over with. And let's keep it real. When I have an hour-long time out, let me tell you what happens. When we come back to arguing, <laughs> it's boiling at that point. Exactly. Like, it's on fire. So you got to keep your time out. Keep your time outs short, okay? Yeah, it is so far beyond where it was when I called the time out. It's like, so it's like, all right, you ready? Gotta get, yeah, let's talk again. And then boom, we need another time out. And then there's more topic jumping and things like that because I've had time to think about other yeah, things. Yeah, yeah. See, that's what happens. Okay, so we've also been working on not one-upping each other. Okay. If he says something mean, I shouldn't try to be more hurtful in what I say. 
Notice the key word there was shouldn't. Because this is an issue for us at times. Okay, it's not just my issue. It's his issue too. I said okay. So when we say one up and we mean like don't take the argument to a different height. Exactly. Right? Don't take it higher it needs to go. Meaning like don't throw around words like silly, <laughs> stupid, moronic, <laughs> anything like that. Anything that's an escalator that's gonna take it to the next level. If I if I say if we're in the middle of an argument and you know it's just like hey you know what I really didn't enjoy dinner tonight I didn't think it tasted good and she comes at me and she's like well that's why you have a unibrow <laughs> and we got a problem because that's personal what? that's personal it went okay. to a whole other level another thing that we've learned is not to laugh at <laughs> not to laugh during your argument you know if one person is trying to explain what is upsetting them right don't snicker <laughs> don't you know okay don't smile <laughs> don't, <laughs> just, just don't remain smile. emotionless. <laughs> Don't smile at all. Don't, don't smile when no, the other person is going off and trying to tell you how they're feeling about a situation. Just to play it safe, don't smile. Don't. Okay? No, look, when you're in an argument you're trying to explain why you're angry and somebody's laughing at you, it really makes them feel silly. If, I'm stu if I stutter, if I try to get my thoughts together, if I say the wrong thing, and you know what I meant, you know you know uh, what I meant, don't try to pull that on me and just be like, ah! You don't know ah, what you're talking ah. about. You don't know what you're talking about. You're trying to make up something. Yeah, yeah, see? Yeah. First of all, <laughs> he does that all the time look, to me. Okay? You know what I, you know what I meant. You don't gotta laugh at me, but the fact of an argument, but laughing at me. He does that to me all the time, y'all. Okay. Sometimes I have to take a little bit of time to get my thoughts together. All right, I wouldn't say all the time. <laughs> I wouldn't say all the time. Make it sound like this. This is really warfare. Here. <laughs> okay, so we've had a lot of arguments. Uh, we've been together for what is this? Almost twelve years. Long time. <laughs> Something like I that. Know it's been a long time. Yes. Yeah. So we've had a lot of arguments. The majority of our arguments are. Longer than an hour. Right. Okay. So we just thought about this. Maybe it would be a great idea to start setting time limits on how long we argue about That's something. That's right. That's right. Get, you know. We got a little kitchen timer. Set yourself a time limit. You know what? We're going to argue about this for 20 minutes. 20 minutes. And if we can't come up with a resolution in 20 minutes, there's got to be a penalty. Got to be a penalty. And saying that, you set a little timer. Right? You set a timer. Timer goes off. You're still arguing. You got to stop fighting. And you got to start making up. It's just the way it works. Oh my God. It's just the way it works. And if you're still angry after you've made up, <laughs> which you probably won't be, because sometimes you can get rid of some, get rid of some, you blow off some steam through making oh up. Oh my gosh! Okay. And then after you're done, you just decide, are we still really that upset? You know what I mean? I love you, girl. Oh my gosh. Okay. You know what? It ain't that bad. I'll pick up my socks. Yeah, I can do that. Trash. I got that. You are wrong. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So another thing we've been trying to work on, and we used to do this a lot back in the day. Okay. <laughs> We're trying not to argue in the car. Try not to true. argue while driving. It's, it's dangerous. very dangerous. And you know, there, at one point in time, uh, there was a lot of exiting the car during an argument. So we've been working on not leaving the car during an argument. <laughs> there been times when, like, we would pull, we would stop at a gas station, and we were having an argument, and you know, he would get out to, <laughs> to pump the gas or whatnot, and. And I got left at the gas station. That's what happens. All right, yeah. I got left at the gas station. It happens. It happens. All right. We've all had to walk home in the cold. Okay. There's been other other times where you know we'd argue in a drive through. Right. Sure. And somebody would exit the car. Me again. And get left. All right. Look. Let me <laughs> so tell, walk home. Let me tell. You, let me tell you a brief brief story. Let me give you a brief on that what happened. All right. So I'm a big Mike fan. All right. I like Michael Jackson. <laughs> He's a beast. Greatest entertainer of all time. I love Michael Jackson. Oh, so we gosh. argue about something completely unrelated. Uh, Michael Jackson is a CD player. She takes Michael Jackson out the CD player. Throws my man in the back seat. Now look, I got a problem with that, all right? That's my Mike CD. Oh, my I gosh. like Mike. I don't want her scratching up he Billie Jean. He tried to put the music on while we were arguing, okay? That was very rude. So I took the CD out. <laughs> I tossed it in the back. Yo, so it's, look, if I were to argue to the tune of Billie Jean... I should be able to. Okay, that's how I feel about it. But you can't just be throwing Billie Jean in the back seat. Okay, so by the way, that argument was like forever ago. It was like 10 years ago. So she threw my mic CD in the back. I, I said, so you can't disrespect Mike like that. I was out of there. Yeah, okay. And it was cold. And he decided to get out of the car and head home. <laughs> I walked home like five miles in and, the freezing cold. Yes. And I was like, okay, you know what? You want to go there? I just drove home. And I drove past him. She left me. <laughs> You left me. You left me. <laughs> okay, so something else we've been working on uh, with our fighting is don't fight on the phone. Don't argue through it's a text. It's a bad look. <laughs> it's a bad look altogether. Don't argue through text messages. You can't, you can't read tones in a text message. No. So it's a bad idea 
to text an argument because you can't read tone to sound. Everything sounds aggressive. Yes. When you're angry, everything sounds aggressive. Exactly. You can be like, have a nice day. You're like, oh, oh no, <laughs> you didn't just tell me to have a nice day. Yeah, just because there's no have a nice day smiley face at the end. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> and as far as talking on the phone, th the hardest part about talking on the phone is you get emotional. You know you get emotional? And there's, you hang up. Yeah, there's nothing <laughs> worse than hanging up on somebody. Exactly. Click. Yeah, it's bad. That's bad. So... It's Okay. We've and we've dealt with that. Yes, we've we, we've, we've dealt with hangups. A lot. We had a lot of hangups because again, we were in a long distance relationship, so a lot. That's, of, that's the only power we had. <laughs> a lot. Of, most of our conversations were on the phone, so yeah. you know we'd argue on the phone, and <laughs> I'd hang up, and then he'd call me back, and then I pick up, and you then I hang up again. Yeah, see, it started to turn into revenge hangups. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now it's like you want to hang up on me. I'm gonna hang, hang up, up on me? you. I'm gonna call you right back. Yeah, that's you. You there? You there? <laughs> wow! I'm up on you. Can't do that. Then Mid sentence. We, then we spend. We, end? <laughs> we would spend hours hanging up on each other. That was it. <laughs> we spent hours. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that goes back to one upping too. So yeah. it's like you spend hours hanging up on each other. <laughs> that's why I hung up on you last. <laughs> so another important thing that we've been learning, um, <laughs> that we've been trying to do, is not to go to bed angry. That's right. You know, you don't uh, want. An argument That's such a to, big one. Yeah, you don't want an argument to carry on to the next day. It could drag out so long and you're just feeling a mess. I know when we fight, I don't feel good. I don't want the issue carry on to the next day because it just kind of turns into, well, who's going to talk to who first? Exactly. I mean, yeah. I'm not going to talk to you. <laughs> Is she going to ignore me? Let me wait to see if she says something to me. Exactly. So it just makes the, the situation more awkward. It's awkward. Yeah. And then you're just dealing with a bad mood and then that carries on to, into other things, how you talk it's, to other people. And you both don't, you both don't feel right. So don't go to bed angry. So you don't wake up mad. It's that simple. <laughs> okay, so it's also important to make up after your arguments. Um, you know, set a date night. Go have some fun. That's right. <laughs> Rekindle that flame a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I uh, like that. Rekindle. Oh, oh, my God. It's important that you love just as hard as you fight. Right. So it's critical that, you know, you plan out your date nights. You plan to do things together to continue to create that bond. Right. Increase that level of communication. You know, those are things that we do. We just try to have a great time together. When we have issues, because we do have issues, <laughs> when we have issues, we try to spend that time after the issue is resolved, making sure that the other person, that each other know that how we true. feel about each other. Even if we say some things we don't mean in our <laughs> arguments, it's important that in the end, when it's all said and done, we know we got each other. Right. So. All right, so one of the hardest things to do is to admit when you're wrong. Yes, this is a hard one. <laughs> it's very difficult to admit when you're wrong. Especially when you fought so hard <laughs> to try to prove your point. Right. <laughs> and you realize that you're wrong the entire time. Right. It's tough. It's tough to admit that you're wrong, but it will save you time, hours, energy, everything. It'll actually just... make you stronger in the end. Yeah. Because... Once you know you're wrong, it's important to stop and be like, you know what? My bad. I was wrong. Exactly. And I was kill. wrong. This is dealing with a lot of pride, pridefulness. Yeah. You know, you just want to put your pride aside and just admit that you made a mistake. Yeah, we all do. There's nothing, yeah, there's nothing wrong do. with it. To do what's right for the marriage or the relationship. That's right. So that you can just live peacefully. <laughs> We've also learned that it's best that if you're the party that's being told, hey, I was wrong. Right. <laughs> it's always best to just hear them out and don't rub it in her face. No, don't. Okay? Yeah, you know what? I've been telling you for about three hours now. <laughs> that you were wrong. wrong. I told you you were wrong. Right. Why don't you just take my word for it? You're wrong. You were wrong then. You're wrong yeah. now. You don't want to do that, okay? It's not that serious. It's bad. Don't just, rub your face in it. Right. Don't, don't hold grudges. Yeah. Forgive them. Yeah. And move on. There's so much to look forward to in life, and arguing just wastes time. Holding grudges just wastes time. Absolutely. And it's just not worth it. Yeah. So just forgive and forget and just move forward. Last tip that we uh, wrote down was to stay prayerful and keep God in the relationship. Absolutely. We've said this once before that, you know, God is the center of our relationship and we make sure that we are Absolutely. praying and that you know we go to him with our problems <laughs> big or small socks that's clothes, right. That's right. <laughs> whatever it is you know he hears all he sees all anyways that's so right. he's not surprised by you know anything that you bring to him so <laughs> and look and look nobody's perfect some people just need prayer <laughs> so maybe you gotta pray maybe you gotta pray for your partner that they stop getting on your nerves yeah all right, so those are the things we wrote down um, <laughs> about arguing and ways that we need to improve on our arguing. That's right. Um, That's right. We got, some, we got some room for opportunity. Okay, so we hope you found this video helpful, and we hope you enjoyed watching, and we'll see you soon in another video. Take care. Thanks for taking the time to wind down with us tonight. We hope you had fun. Let's go again tomorrow. Good night.